from a fun perspective, one of the most fun aspects was the people that I got a chance to interview and, and to learn from. I feel like people make life so enriching, you know, um, and, you know, being able to sit down one on one with the people that I interviewed for Black Excellence, learning about their stories, learning about their backgrounds. It was it was really just so fun. My author journey in particular started in summer of 2020. So one of my law school classmates, uh, Wusaki, shared that he was writing a book on LinkedIn. So I asked him asked him about it, um, and the whole process seemed um, very intriguing to me. So I just jumped in. And let me tell you, John, balancing everything is a story in and of itself. Throughout my journey, as you mentioned, my wife was pregnant. Our son is now three months old, by the way. Um, I was a full-time law student. I was also getting an MBA. Um, my wife and I purchased our first investment property um, and we were planning a move to uh, New York City. So uh, it came down to two words, time management, which is actually a topic that I discussed in chapter six of the book. Um, but what I really had to do was I had to be very intentional with how I spent my time. I had to repurpose the time that I would normally spend commuting um, since we were working remotely um, to spending that time with my wife or writing. Um, and one of the things, one of the little tricks that I used and developed was uh, to make sure that I didn't lose content from when inspiration hit me in the most random of moments. Um, I started a personal Slack channel uh, that acted like an impromptu writing journal, if you will. So uh, it was really about just like, repurposing, you know, taking advantage of even the small moments and being consistent, you know, over a period of time. It was really uh, something that was interesting to kind of like go through, but that's why it's a, a journey and a process and the creative process, right? Because you start off with this initial concept, this initial idea, and it was somewhat it was somewhat scary because, you know, my background, I shared, you know, CPA and you know, went to law school. So there's a, you know, linear process and linear thinking, you know, um, and the logic to how I approach problems. Whereas this creative process, you know, I I didn't start with the, with the answer to the problem. You know, I started with the question and had to, you know, see where it would take me. You know, I had to, you know, and, you know, engage my curiosity. Um, and so what I did was I was open to what insights I would I would receive from my interviewees. And, you know, it became this iterative process where I started, you know, is very far from, you know, where I landed, you know, but I'm that's why I was so great that it was so great to have the Creator Institute in this community of, of authors that we could sort of, uh, you know, benefit from and share ideas. I just had so much fun, you know, meeting uh, uh, these people and a lot of them I can, I now consider mentors and I look forward to continually developing the, the relationships throughout my career.